So teaching to be who I am. I mean, I was asked this by a student who's getting high mystical, high mystical experiences of the infinite. Um, teach to be who I am. So that that's um, it makes sense to me from my own experience. Um, as you, one goes into higher mystical states uh, of the infinite and of exquisite divine joy, um, I mean, for me, it's a transition. Uh, on a simplistic level, it's like one used to be a little bit identified with the ego, and one is now less identified with the ego, and there is a transition process. You know, sometimes it's like, you know, one has forgotten how to speak, or it could be that one is seeing the world totally differently. And uh, uh, the, uh, there's not the capacity um, yet to, um, uh, it's not, it doesn't come from the head. Uh, to uh, It's almost like an interface, or I mean, Hawkins used to say, the Holy Spirit is able to interpret um, where someone is in the infinite to when others are more in the dualistic separated state. Uh, so they, they, there are different vibrations, and sometimes, mm, uh, you know, the, 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 there is an evolution, if you like, uh, and an ev evolution of how, mm, what is going to unfold. Um, and there does, you know, I've had periods where there's been great clumsiness, forgetting to put on shoes, no awareness of the body, uh, walk, you know, walking into things. Uh, so I do sometimes share with students, you know, to be extra cautious when they're tr going into higher states, because there's a, almost like um, there can be uh, there can be a transitory phase. Also, communication. Um, you know, sometimes um, if you see things, uh, the communication becomes um, odd. But you know, for me, it's like it's okay. You know, so what if? Uh, um, but eventually, it you know, it's like the communication becomes natural from whatever state one is in to with others. But in the beginning, it can be quite um, it can be quite difficult um, because uh, for various reasons. One could be like uh, if if one is in an infinite ecstatic state uh, beyond the body and beyond seeing others as bodies. Uh, where everything is witnessed in exquisite joy, then you know if 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 a, if, if it seemingly an, another individual is in a state of um, body identification and mental distress, you know uh, the you know the way to relate to that can be different. You know it could be to try and uh, tell them that's not real, that's not who you are, that's not the truth of what you are. Uh, that limited, uh, separated, uh, struggling state. But in my experience, it eventually adjusts. And um, I've met, a, you know, I have a few teachers, or I had a few teachers, and they have very, very different styles, even though they get to advanced states. And so the teachers then um, develop their own kind of following. Um, like uh, Dr. Hawkins, uh, my teacher, he had a very much... His, his thing was very much, he could speak at the non-dual level that's in certain situations and very easily flip into a very dualistic uh, level where he'd speak to people where they're at with great ease. And um, it wasn't a problem. Uh, if I, When I watched his things, if a student was very advanced, he'd say a few words which were absolutely enlightening. And if someone was stuck in their head, he'd be effortlessly be able to communicate with them on that level. Whereas I met, I had another, I won't say his name, but I had another teacher who was very much of the Ramana, who are you? He would go for the jugular when I used to see him. It's basically like uh, slap, 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 you're not the body, another slap, you're not these thoughts. You know, it's more like a, a Zen master or a samurai warrior, like chop all this rubbish off and, and experience who you really are. So that was also... Uh, um, also great and teachers also have um the benefit of um transmission the transmission i mean hawkins called it the transmission of no mind through their presence uh through the presence the infinite presence 
uh, it is a blessing, a silent blessing that goes beyond uh, what is said uh, or the words. Uh, so teaching to be who you are, I mean, it's all part of the evolution and it's almost like, shall we use the words grace, grace will find uh, the right, the right, um, the right thing. And in my experience, um, you know, things will also come up little, little, um, uh, the course would say le lessons to learn as well along the way. Um, yeah, okay, I'll stop there.